Hey guys, this is Buffy's Bobble Works here. And today in this video... Um... Bumpus? What the hell are you doing on my phone? Oh, um, I'm making a video. I'm sorry, buddy. What are you I am just so sorry, everyone. Mini Weeble Pal has just stole my phone. And found out how to use it. Now we go back to our regular programming. Hey guys, this is Brains Bear here. A lot of us had had TV habits when we were kids. When we were watching like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Cubo, and the list goes on and on. However, some programs actually have two channels in one. Kind of like Noggin did back in the day with Noggin, their area for preschoolers starting in 2001 and at an own block called the N which had more um stuff more mature things like reproduction and other kind of things like puberty we're going to be talking about something called watershed blocks today if you don't know what they are I'm going to go full detail into them let's just say you got to have it for watching TV specifically Cartoon Network the final show airs, and the final commercial airs. Then this appears. And then boom, your schedule is now Adult Swim. All kids out of the pool for Adult Swim. All kids out. Oh, and by the way, when you hear all kids out of the pool, yep, that means Adult Swim's content is mature. This is actually a really good idea because the sign-off I used from 2007 to 2008 warns the viewers not once, not twice, but three times. For Noggin and the End, this happens. Psst, now would be a good time to get up and go see what Mom's doing. Moosey Moose, I don't recommend saying that on live TV. While you're at it, see what that cat's up to. Did you, uh, you teach? There isn't a teacher that you me. He will tell you where you are weak, where he is strong. Shh. After that is done, look at the bottom right corner. Yep, it's a timer for when the end starts. And it's because no kid would want to hear the term f said. And because of the content in Watershed Blocks, they have become very controversial. But there is one watershed block that cannot be even more controversial than the one that Nick Jr. had. Mom, you've entertained the kids all day. Now it's time we entertain you. Nick Mom is just minutes away. We'll get to why Nick Mom was controversial later. But for now... The day is done. We had lots of fun. Do you remember this bedtime poem? I remember it. Vividly. Let's just say that this reminds children that it's past their freaking bedtime! Away. Mermaids and thrones and dinosaur bones and math heroes saving the day. But for now, close your eyes. Fall fast asleep. Peppa, what are you doing in my watershed block video? Parents, our day is done, but your kids can play with their Nick Jr. friends anytime online at nickjr.com slash play. And that's the final thing they say. You made it. The play dates are over and the kids are tucked under. Finally, it's your time. The one being catered to. The center of attention. The only one in charge. Nick Mom starts now. Like Adult Swim's target audience is adults, Nick Mom's target audience was mom. And only moms. All the content on Nick Mom was mom geared. Only mommy will understand. That is why all that content airing on a preschool channel? That's it is exactly why Nick Mom has been so controversial. And because of that, in August of 2020, in August of 2016, Nick Mom shut down and Nick Jr. aired 24 hours a day. When I, I first noticed that, 
and I was confused. Why isn't the why wasn't the the the, the, the sign off showing? I think I'm so you freaking ADHD. And because of the poem on Nick Jr.'s sign-off is bedtime geared, it is time we let parents know that it is now bedtime for their kids. This is because the content in Nick Mom cannot be viewed by kids. This is actually a good idea, but there are some flaws. It kind of makes sense of what Nick Mom is supposed to do, since they may be annoyed by more interactive shows such as Dora the Explorer. Let's just say the parents didn't really want to come for the ride. Here's what I think are excellent ideas to do during a watershed walk. 1. Warn in advance. This is best recommended for channels geared towards children. This way, viewers will know what content is heading for them. 2. Air lullabies. This would be best for channels geared towards infants and toddlers. It will soothe the kids to sleep. And when the lullabies are done, the watershed warning will appear. 3. Add a timer before the watershed. This will give the viewer plenty of time to change the channel. This is what Noggin did with the end. And fourth, and this one's the best, always warn. This is what Cartoon Network did with Adult Swim because their content is very adult. This is why Nick Mom was so controversial. There were no content warnings. Well, folks, and it seems that night has fallen. And the men of stars have fully come out. And that means it's adult time. And there we go. Those were my thoughts on Watershed Blocks. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!